Science Journal for Kids and Teens presents How Do Smartphones Affect Our Sleep? Adapted from the original peer-reviewed paper in the journal Frontiers of Psychiatry, published on March 2, 2021. Research conducted by se Yan Song, Lauren Krasnov, and others from the Department of Biostatistics and Health Informatics at the Institute of Psychiatry, Psychology, and Neuroscience at King's College in London. See the full list of authors in the accompanying PDF. Read by Miranda Wilson. Abstract. Do you own a smartphone? They are very useful and often we can't imagine life without them, but they could be harmful as well. For example, people can get addicted to smartphones. As with any other addiction, this can lead to various problems. So does it affect our sleep? To find out, we asked 1,043 students to complete two questionnaires. This helped us determine how many of the students suffer from smartphone addiction. It also showed how many suffer from poor sleep. We found out that smartphone addiction is pretty common among young students. We also found a strong connection between smartphone addiction and poor sleep. Introduction did you know that more than three quarters of all people in the USA own a smartphone? Smartphones are very convenient. They can help you navigate and connect you to other people anywhere in the world. You can take photos, play games, or even study. But what are the downsides? On average, people spend four hours a day using their phones. That's 1,460 hours a year, or 60 days round the clock. If we use smartphones too much, they can become harmful. Smartphones may be addictive, and this may lead to problematic use. This is even more true for teenagers and young adults. People can lose interest in face-to-face -face contact. They can become anxious when their phones are not around. Smartphone addiction can also negatively affect students' school grades. What about our sleep? Many studies have shown that prolonged screen time is bad for our sleep. It can make it hard to fall asleep and even harder to wake up in the morning. But is it different if you are actually addicted to your phone? Is that more of a problem for sleep than just spending time on your screen? This is what we wanted to find out. More than half the students in this study said they used their phones for at least four hours a day. In this photo, you can see three people all interacting with their phones. Methods. We asked 1,043 UK students aged between 18 and 30 to complete two questionnaires. The first questionnaire was about the student's smartphone use. You can see the questions in Table 1. This questionnaire checked whether the students are addicted to their smartphones or not. The second questionnaire assessed the quality of the student's sleep. It included questions such as, on an average weeknight, what time do you go to bed? How many hours do you usually sleep? And what is the latest time you usually use your smartphone? We then analyze the data to find if there is an association between smartphone addiction and sleep and smartphone addiction and some factors like age, ethnicity, or gender. Here in Table 1, you can see the smartphone use questionnaire. To use the questionnaire, please check the statements that apply to you where 1 indicates you strongly disagree and 6 indicates you strongly agree with the statement. The statements are as follows. 1. Missing planned work due to smartphone use. 2. Having a hard time concentrating in class while doing assignments due to smartphone use. 3. Feeling pain in the wrists or at the back of the neck while using a smartphone. 4. Won't be able to stand not having a smartphone. 5. Feeling impatient when I'm not holding my smartphone. 6. Having my smartphone on my mind even when I'm not using it. 7. I will never give up using my smartphone even when my daily life is greatly affected by it. 8. Constantly checking my smartphone so as not to miss conversations between other people. 9. Using my smartphone longer than I had intended. And 10. The people around me tell me that I use my smartphone too much. 
Results. Around 39% of the students showed several signs of smartphone addiction. It was more prevalent among students under 21. Prolonged use was strongly linked to addiction. About 54% of the students who used their smartphones for more than five hours a day suffered from addiction. Only 20% of those who used them for under two hours a day were addicted. Smartphone use before bed is also an important factor. Addiction levels were high among students who used their phones less than 30 minutes before bedtime and low among those who stopped using their phones more than an hour before bedtime. There is also an association between addiction and use in the late hours. As we expected, smartphone addiction leads to poorer sleep. Almost 70% of the students who reported addiction also reported poor sleep. Here in Figure 1, you can see the relationship between smartphone addiction and late time usage. On the x-axis is time, starting before 11 p.m. on the left and ending at 1 a.m. or later on the right. The y-axis indicates the percentage of students that were addicted. What is the impact of late night smartphone use on addiction? Discussion. The levels of smartphone addiction among the participants are high. This is especially true for the younger group, students below 21. This might be because they have more free time, or it could be because they are happy to use smartphones in different ways, for example, for social media. There is a significant association between using your phone for longer and being addicted to it. But do people use their phones more because they are addicted? Or are they addicted because they use their phones more? It's hard to know. There is also an association between addiction and using your phone late at night. For example, if you use your phone after 1 a.m., you are three times as likely to have an addiction. So the amount of time spent on your phone is not enough to suggest addiction, but combining that with the latest time you use your phone can be a good indicator. Our study also shows that smartphone addiction could be harming people's sleep. And this is not just because of screen time. People could suffer from addiction and poor sleep even when they use their phones for under two hours a day. But use in the late hours or right before bedtime tended to harm the student's sleep. Conclusion. If you have a smartphone, it could have a bad impact on your health. It's a good idea to track your own screen time to prevent future problems. It's also worth ditching your phone before you go to sleep, especially if you often feel sleepy during the day. Even if you don't own a smartphone, there are other screens that can also be harmful. Try reducing the time you spend on screens and see the positive effects. Thank you for listening to this recording. Visit our website, sciencejournalforkids.org, for more free science teaching resources. Thank you.